was awful. Somebody give me uh, something that happened in history, like ancient history or old history. The pyramids. The pyramids? I like it. So check this out. The pyramids. Everyone thinks they were built in Egypt? They were wrong. They were built in Italy. Yeah, they are built in Italy. Um, so the pharaoh, there's still a pharaoh. Okay. He was like this jolly guy. Okay. Like, like he was Santa Claus, but foreign. Okay. And he's like... Okay. And he's pompous, I'm right? Okay. He's pompous. So he's like... You well, of course, build. he's Italian. That's right. <laughs> well, I agree with you. That's fine. Um, so he's like, build this thing for me. And it's like, it's got to be huge. And it's, got, and it's it's compensating for something he has that's small. <laughs> anyway, so he gets the finest architect. Craziest thing? It's a woman. <laughs> and so it's this woman. And this woman comes up with these plans. She's like, make a triangle that's huge. Is she compensating for something? Oh, you remember the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You remember who showed up, right? Uh, if I remember, I slept a lot through through history. I think it was uh, Chuck Norris. Yeah. Right? Chuck Norris showed up? Chuck Norris. <laughs> Wanted to challenge the pharaoh to a battle over these triangle things. Sure. It's crazy what happened. Chuck Norris, how dare you come to the ancient Italy to challenge the pyramids? I feel that you're lacking something small. So I'm here to make your manhood by fighting. Why? What are you compensating with that phony, fake, colored beard? Age. I'm old. Oh, okay, that's very good. <laughs> now I'd like to know from the architect, uh, what what are we going for with these pyramids? I thought something, you know, uh, well, very different. I remember and... this all wrong. Okay. The, the architect, she, was, she lived in Italy, but she was like French. She was like really bad accent French. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's all she could say was wee wee wee. Every other few words was wee wee wee. So she say a sentence and wee wee wee. Oh. I thought something very um, different, do you know wee? And uh, it would be very, very good. Wee wee wee? Yes. Uh... Oh. That sounds good. Uh, it would be very different. I think I'm even picking up on your accent. <laughs> it's so uh, alluring. It's very you know? unusual. Oh, uh, didn't Chuck Norris's? Uh, didn't Christy Brinkley come out because they did that Nordic track thing together? Yeah. Because yeah. Nordic is ancient. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. Oh, what are you doing? You're exercising. Yeah. This is the Nordic track. Three easy payments of ninety-nine ninety-five. Wow, that is going to be amazing. And what do you, you can look like this. I feel like this is something different, no? Yeah, that's very good. It's uh, it's the pulley. The pulley. That right. is something we invented. Pulley. Yeah. That's how we pull up the stones to the top of the pyramid, huh? <laughs> but then, wait, wait, check this out. The pharaoh pulled his groin. Oh. Oh. Oh, hang on. oh, hang on. Uh, let's see. Christy Brinkley, you're gonna get executed. Uh, Chuck Norris, you're gonna die. Wait, wait, wait. Chuck Norris is great at rubbing out groin. Get injuries. me over here and rub out my groin. Get over here. I remember that. This is going weird. It's a men game. I changed the History Channel. It was Skinamax. I mean Cinemax. That's what it was. It was the, the Chuck Norris thing, you know? Woo! A couple infomercials and a fever dream. That's messed up, man. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a crazy guy. He's Captain. I'm not wearing my commandos. Um, <laughs> anyway, so the Pharaoh was like, listen, whoever builds these triangles out of these white castle boxes is the winner. Cool. And it was like crazy. Right. He's right. doing really good. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's, done. he's done. Chuck Norris has got his pyramid done first. Tell me, Chuck, what did you think? What was, what was going through your mind in the last few minutes? I would win regardless. He thought he would win. But wait, it's not just speed. We're also judging on girth. <laughs> and I think Christy Brinkley has done a nice job over here. I'm sorry, I remember that porno again. Oh, right. <laughs> and that was the building of the pyramids. Thanks, Wikipedia! <laughs> Oh, you know what? I can't do anything else. Um, what's today's special? Oh, we got pizza. Oh, they got pizza. <laughs> Perfect.
yeah, can I get a pizza and some crab rangoon? Oh, yeah, yeah, 10 minutes, okay? Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> hey, while you do that, I'm going to make some margaritas. Let me get right. my blender out here. Can you deliver? Uh, sure, sure. Oh, perfect, perfect. Oh, let me add some more ice in here. Thank you. All right. How about a little uh, margarita? You know what? I, I, I think I'd rather have an espresso. I'll have yours. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you run out of coffee or something? You started squirting chocolate. That's fine. Uh, I was gonna, that's what I wanted anyway. You know what? That looks pretty good. I'm gonna get one of those little frothy uh, lattes or whatever. Hey. Oh God, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna burp from that margarita. I told you not to. Oh, sorry. I told you not to touch my machine. Well, what are you gonna do about it now? Oh, oh. <laughs> almost hit. Me. Can I get a suggestion of like a classic book? Something like you had to read in high school. Catcher in the Rye. Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> Okay, we have Catcher in the Rye. Let's put a little twist on it. What's your favorite? What's someone's favorite TV show that they like to binge? Arrow. Big Bang Theory. <laughs> I heard Arrow and I heard Big Bang Theory. I'm gonna do a double on this one. So we're gonna do Arrow in the Rye, Big Bang Theory style. <laughs> Let's warm these actors up. Oh. was a fierce warrior, and so he set out on a journey. And Holden had a young sister whom he loved dearly, and one day the sister decided she wanted to become a warrior too. But she was a nerd. <laughs> and she like... Was called the dork most of her life until she became a nerd. Where she walked for miles and miles and miles to try to find meaning in her life with lots and lots of... Hotel rooms where he met older <laughs> men. And a lot of times he didn't even know why he was there. He didn't know why he was there because he lost his mind long ago when he got stranded on an island. It was really tragic, but it tells a lot more backstory. And then he just was like completely bermudgeoned by the whole thing. Just completely confused. Didn't know where he was in Can life. Get that word again. Curmudgeon. <laughs> And he just didn't know how life was going to, you know, treat him or anything like that. And that's how he thought of the Big Bang Arrow. <laughs> the Big Bang Arrow, as you see, is the philosophy of banging an arrow into a rock. Uh, in, in a, into a field of rye. And where a lot of little children go. Nope. <laughs> 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 than going to court. You know, you could have just asked me. We're, and we are family. I don't see why we're here. Well, part of the other reason we're here is because I want you to become a lawyer. Um, you know, I mean, you're very good. At... Uh, Pete? Yeah? Uh, I, I'm sorry, everybody. Um, I, I don't mean to interrupt. And I, it's, it's, it's going on. It, can you be less, like, lovey-dovey about it? I mean, I'm sorry. It's my first time. Daniel's letting me direct one. <laughs> And I just, I don't like where it's going, Max. So you, you just, just want me to be mean it? to her? What's that? You want me to be mean to her? Well, I mean, just disagree with her a little bit more. I mean, these people, if these people wanted to see a conversation, they would have just stayed home. <laughs> yeah, but improv is about agreement, not disagreement. You're right, you're right. But just, fine. You know, spice it up. We'll just do it your way. Just a little pepper. That's fine. what I'm asking for. Just That's a little fine. bit. I'm, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, so, lights? 
Oh, you know, you could have just asked me. No, I didn't, want, I didn't want to ask you, all right? You didn't want to ask no, me? No, I don't want to ask my sister who I don't love or I care about. So that's whoa, why whoa, I thought you were cool. I'm sorry, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Can you... You don't have to be that mean. I mean, just take... Give me a scale of one to ten mean, Sean. Uh, I don't know. Five? Well, where were you at there? You tell me. You're the director. All right. Um, this is a little embarrassing. Uh... <laughs> You, you show us a, I don't know, a six, a seven? Okay. Six and a half, how about that? Six okay. and a half. I could do All right, that. Alright, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You know you could have just asked me. We're family. We're family, but it's, it's, here's the thing. I know Mom told me that she doesn't know for sure if I'm hers. <laughs> or that you're hers. Okay? Mom isn't... Is he sure exactly if we're hers? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really weird. I don't know. You should be unsure about that. <laughs> Might have been switched to Where, Where's the discrepancy here? I don't quite see. Because what happened the day of the hospital, she says there was a switchage of the baby, so perhaps I was switched. A switchage of the baby? Switches of the baby. I hate to do this. It's a little embarrassing. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you take over for Pete? Oh. No, I don't. No, right. Sean, I'm sorry. I, no, I don't want to. Good man. We'll, we'll talk after this. But like I said, these people paid. I mean, this isn't Marine Valley Theater, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Uh, mom isn't sure that we're both hers. I would think Dad would have that problem more than Mom. Well, you know, they used to gas women when they were giving birth, and you were born, and then here I was. <sighs> We've grown up like siblings for our entire life, whether we're actually biologically related or not. Uh, yeah. who else do we have backstage? I, I feel like what? this is easy to come out. Hi, are you fine? Come on! Uh, uh, Sam? Yeah. Uh, yeah, can you, can you come out? Can I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Can you come out too? Why don't you guys what? try it? This, okay. this isn't working. Do you want me to take over for Rachel? Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter at this point. Okay. Are you fired up? <laughs> can, yeah. can we even... Did you ever see one? You're fine. No. What? Well, that's, that's what I'm opposing. There's or, uh, opposing but Jimmy yeah. John's in the back. They're really uppity. All right, ready? Okay. Yeah. What are okay. we doing? What are we doing? I think we were uh, okay. sword fighting. That's what we were doing. Okay. Nope, that's not gonna work either. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what? You, you know what? Just both. So that wasn't okay. Yeah. No. No. Can uh, you come with me, sir? You're both. You're both fired. Come on. This, this, I'm pulling a random guy out of the audience. That's how bad you guys are. So uh, to be or not to be. That was your question. I like it. I'm good. Rolling it. <laughs>